Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day 13 of the 19 days of COVID-19 live videos. That's what we're doing. <laughs> SubhanAllah, day 13. Sanity in solitude, how these can be the best days of our life. So have you ever been feeling like you're going a little insane or crazy during these days finding it hard not to lose it or feel frustrated with the situation that we're in especially uh, in lockdown and not being able to have those normal social connections and activities that we're used to i found that this time can actually be the perfect time to find true sanity because what we might have called sanity before if we really analyze what we were living before this of this opportunity to shut down appeared is probably pretty insane what we've been doing and research tells us that 80 90 percent of the people who learn what i teach the the subtractive psychological paradigm that i teach actually find a state of inner peace and love and harmony contentment in their life which is you know where the true sanity is yes there's been times when i've felt pretty insane and crazy myself in these last few weeks you know it's been a difficult time work-wise um trying to work from home with everyone at home it, it has created a lot of um, stress um, in, in terms of my thinking around, oh, I've got this to do, that to do, I've got so much to do and no time to do it. There's this kid schooling, alhamdulillah, now we're on holidays. Um, just so, so much going on that it has felt pretty crazy. But on the other hand, because there's a whole lot of responsibilities, a whole lot of um, other things that I used to do that I can't do now, there's been a lot more downtime and quiet time. And because I have this understanding, my moments of crazy or my moments of insanity are very short lived because I understand actually what is going on and I slip back into my same self. And I've had a lot of wonderful insights, even um, just coach the, on the coaching call that I just had before this live session, um, just some clarity around a, a perfect way of describing parenting teams, which I'll be sharing with everybody um, soon, inshallah, just an analogy that makes it all so simple to understand. So the clarity and the, the opportunity in this time is, is, also, is very amazing. But if you don't understand what's going on, it might be really hard to find that sanity that I'm talking about. So today I wanna to teach you what true sanity is what sanity really is about. And it's probably not what you're thinking, um, but it is in line with everything that I've mentioned throughout these videos, which is that we're always living in the feelings of our thinking in the moment. Sanity is when we see that, insanity is when we don't. It's that simple. And in fact, life itself and Islam and everything is so simple when we stop complicating it and putting stories around it, which is what we kind of do as, as human beings. So if we feel insane or crazy or like everything's going astray, it's usually because, well, it is because we're not seeing that our feelings are coming from thought in the moment. And somehow we're getting caught up in a story around something else is causing our feelings. So, in the moment when I'm having craziness and feel like yelling at the kids because I've recorded the same recording for a program 15 times and every time one of them has come and interrupted me to say, I'm hungry, I'm bored, or where's the cat food, or <laughs> what else comes to mind, um, that uh, in that moment, when I see them as being the problem or if I see the situation as being um, what's causing me to feel angry and frustrated, then it, I go down a path of, I'm not gonna be okay unless I 
fix the kids unless I get them to be quiet, unless I get them to, to do something. I'm never going to get my work done. And so all of that um, thinking is what's creating the frustration and anger that I might be experiencing. When I realize that, you know, my feelings are just coming from thought in the moment, the creative thinking comes forward and that other thinking falls away. And what I mean by creative thinking is the problem solving. One solution is actually now's not the time to be doing that recording. I should be doing something else that I can do when it's noisy in the background. And that's a creative thought. It's a helpful thought, a productive thought, because I then move on to do something else and I still remain productive. I just come back later to do the recording at a time when it's quiet or I get up the next morning um, before everybody else while they're still sleeping and get it done. So that's the creative problem solving thinking that comes forward. And that comes from the sanity of understanding that the only thing that is causing me to feel the way I feel is the way I'm thinking about what is happening. What is happening around us is happening. It is the Qadr of Allah. And, and if we're not accepting the Qadr of Allah, we're seeing it that whatever is happening is causing us to causing us grief, causing us to not be able to do what we want to do, not be able to um, have the state of mind that we want to have. When the reality is it's our thinking about it and our not accepting it that is creating that. So, um, alhamdulillah, sanity. Sanity is seeing that your feelings come from thought in the moment. And it might seem really simple, and it really is a simple statement. What it has, though, is really, really deep implications. And these deep implications are what makes the difference, what transforms the way we see life and how we live our life and how we can live our life in sanity. Now, the reasons I say that now is the best time for sanity is because our lives have by tr not, no choice of our own had to slow down. And we've been living in a very fast paced, chaotic, hectic way, trying to achieve so much, try to do so much, trying to you know, keep up with everything and everyone. As they say, keeping up with the Joneses, well, I am a Jones, so <laughs> I don't have to keep up with them, right? Anyway, the problem with that way, that speed of life is that there's no, quiet time for reflection to notice that actually I'm feeling my thoughts. That's all I'm doing is I'm feeling my thoughts. And so we get caught and stuck thinking that things need to change and that we need to change things and we need to do something to make things a situate and everything in a particular way. So we'll be okay. And we get caught up in that because there's no downtime, no quiet time because the insights, the, the reflection that's where we discover our sanity. So it's no surprise that in this time, in this era, where we've been living in, in insanity is what I would call it, that the mindfulness, mindfulness, um, mindfulness industry, that's what I was looking for, has boomed because everyone's trying to be mindful. And so there's all these courses on how you can train yourself to be mindful. Being mindful is, I guess, is really, um, as one of my kids, one of my students said, it was so cute. I learned that being mindful is not having a full mind. <laughs> it's actually having an empty mind. <laughs> and that's what this is all about. When we discover it, when we have those quiet moments and we discover that we're just feeling our thoughts, we stop putting so much story around what's happening and we just notice Ourself, and we notice, oh, you know what? I'm feeling sad about this right now. I'm feeling angry about this right now. I'm feeling pretty happy about this right now. And it's okay. I'm just feeling the way I'm thinking right now. That's okay. That too will pass. Everything will pass. Just like the clouds pass in the sky, our thoughts pass and our feelings pass with them. And so it's not going to be forever that we might feel angry or that we might feel sad or that we might feel crazy, it passes. And it passes so much quicker when we just allow it to pass. And we, when we 
when we don't put a story around it, when we realize we're just feeling our thoughts, we allow it to pass. And then we move on and we manage to maintain our sanity through all of our feelings. Our feelings don't get out of control. They don't get unmanageable or, or overwhelming or whatever the language is you want to describe those feelings. They come and they go. Like the crazy moments that I have had in these days, like everybody else, I've had my moments, but they've only been moments. I haven't had days or weeks of it, just moments. And then I'll click back into sanity. So sanity is very simple. Sanity is when we actually see that we're living in the feelings of our thinking in the moment. And insanity is when we can't see it. And we all go insane sometimes. So we all have moments of insanity, not clinical lock you away insanity. I'm talking about just in terms of being in our sane mind and not being in our sane mind. And when we understand this in ourself, life is much easier to navigate. When we're in our sound mind, we make our decisions, we have those discussions, those important conversations. When we're not in our sound mind, we wait for our sound mind to return before we have big discussions or we make big decisions. And it becomes that simple. And we realize that if we're not in our sound mind, that this is the time when we're most likely to slip up, most likely to say or do something that's displeasing to Allah. So we are forgiving towards ourselves and give us, and the more forgiving we can be and more compassionate we can be towards ourselves in those moments, the quicker we will actually fall out of those moments back into sanity. So I know this could sound a little bit different for you. On Monday, inshallah, so today is Saturday my time, so in two days' time. So today is the 13th session in the 15th session. I'm going to be telling you about how you can learn about this subtractive paradigm that I teach. I've got something very special to offer that is hopefully attainable for every single one of you so that you can join this journey of sanity and really take advantage of this time when we have life slowing down and we can slow down and you can actually discover true sanity, the sanity of understanding that we're always living in the, the feelings of our thinking. I had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> So, yeah, look out for that two days' time on in, in the 15th session. I'm going to share with you about that, inshallah. And um, it could be a very exciting time for, for all of us um, to really take stock of life, really reflect on what's important. What's important is that this life is a test, that the akhira is the final abode, and that we really want to be making the choices in this life that make sure that we end up in the good place, <laughs> as they put it, or in paradise, inshallah. So if this has been helpful, beneficial, inspiring, please share the please share with others. I'm really now starting to get to the real crux of the solution for everybody. This is the solution for humanity, not just Muslims. In fact, there are so many non-Muslims teaching this and, the, and it's really going um, across the globe in the non-Muslim world. We need it in the Muslim world too because we need our sanity. We need our Muslims behaving sanely. We need to be making the right choices for the sake of Allah and those right choices come from, from us being sane and making good decisions from a place of sanity. And that sanity is knowing that we're just feeling our thoughts. So share this with others, please. Let's help the Muslim world get on track and be sane, make good decisions, and so we can see each other and unite where there won't be any barriers or restrictions or solitude or lockdowns in Jannah, inshallah, <laughs> inshallah. Subhanaka lahum wa bahamdika shira la ila ila anta staffaruka tu wa laik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.